Welcome to my review of a Type C to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter. This is, uses the CS46L41, which is quite a mouthful. It's a Sivus Logic DAC, which typically are quite good. Um, yeah, and as usual, full disclaimer, uh, this is sent to me by a seller. I was not paid to do this video and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. And it does come in this nice silver kind of tin box. It helps ignore the sticker because that's where it's from. And yeah, let's get into the video. So like I said before, you're getting this nice kind of tin case. So if the camera to if the camera to focus, it looks basically the same as the ALC5686 I did um last year same kind of construction as you can see cs pro cs46l41 which is a serious logic DAC. they're typically uh from my experience quite good 384 kilohertz and 32 bit so it's good that you can do all that kind of range see brady cable strain relief on the DAC end strain relief there 3.5 this also supports inline controls i've tried it with my Xiaomi pro hd and it supports the play pause and the volume up and down and it works on windows 10 but i'll show you that in a in a uh, in the next clip but there that's what it looks like so it does support obviously microphone as well inline microphone and you do get the usb a to type c which is good because not everybody's got a uh, spare type c connector actually i'll leave that out so in the back made in china chip the cs46l41 i've tried a couple of models i think above that there's all the specs that you need to know Dynamic range 120, signal to noise ratio 125, total harmonic distortion 0 0.00125, so it's a low. Does DSD 64 or 128? It says it can drive 16 ohm to 600. I don't know the actual output impedance of this, but that's what it says. I'm not sure about 600 because that's quite a number frequency range 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz so technically this is high res compatible i think but cable four strands of single crystal copper and four strands of pure silver and yeah cable total length is 13 centimeters so that's what it looks like so in the next clip i'm going to show you what it looks like in windows 10 so this is what it looks like in uh, Windows 10. So it comes up as USB-C adapter and that's it. So let's see what you get. I've changed no settings at all. So this is the default. So click properties, levels. So bear in mind that's maximum. So make sure on Windows 10 you do lower that because that will either damage your hearing and damage your earphones. As you can see the microphone set in the middle minus 61 db mute so you may have to change that to suit your preference um, advanced so it's already set a two channel so stereo 32 bit 48 kilohertz let's see what you get so you do get from two cha two channel 16 bit 16 thousand hertz which is quite low this is where you want to be at if you can and it's obviously 16 bit there's no 24 bit but then but you have got 32 bit 384 kilohertz as you can see there all the way up to 34 special sound make sure that's off click ok recording obviously it has an inline microphone but this one here is what i'm using to actually record that actual this clip so ignore this one that's my interface so this is the one this also supports inline controls, so the inline mic works, as you can see it's moving a bit there, I've got my earphones on my lap, and you can see it's slightly picking you up at some times. It uh, uses, it can support inline 
uh, controls so play pause and volume without a problem and it does do DSD 64 and 128 so that's not too bad so for recording within their levels against 79% you will have to lower that but obviously that depends on what inline microphone you have just alter it it'd be a trial and bit a bit of drill a trial and error but at least it supports microphone advanced so you can pick from actually quite a bit so again ignore the first one really one channel 16 bit 16 kilohertz which is quite low um you want to be up this kind of part but 24 bit 48 uh, kilohertz and 16 bit 48 kilohertz is actually pretty good and that's it but yeah it works uh, the microphone and the inline controls work on windows 10 as you can see and on uh, my phone which is android um my power f2 pro and that's it just wanted to mention as you can see this is plugged into my pc um, but also on my phone when it's plugged in see it's actually lit it's the first adapter I've tried which is lit when you plug it into the well I've got into a, an adapter but normally it I'd plug straight into your phone but it is lit say from the bottom and from the top it's kind of cool but I don't know if it's that's really necessary and at night time that might be a bit might be a bit kind of too bright but that's what it looks like when it's in use obviously ignore the adapter it's going to a USB-C to USB A to into my computer, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Lit up now. On to my conclusion of this actual Type C to 3.5 audio adapter, it uses this CS46L41, which is a Cirrus Logic DAC. Um, yeah, sound quality and sheer power output is good. I don't think it's the most, pow most powerful one I've tried. I think compared to the other Cirrus Logic models, it's just under. But then again, it is actually cheaper in cost. Um, I've tried on Windows 10, works perfect. So obviously, my PowerCore F2 Pro works perfect. Um, it does light up. So normally, it light, you can see it light up blue around that kind of section where like, my nail is there and obviously there. I'm not ultimately that keen on that. I prefer if it didn't do that, but that's what it does as part of its functionality i like it just does do uh dsd does 32 bit up to 384 kilohertz supports micro inline microphone and inline controls um powers all the earphones i had um probably not as powerful as other ones i've tried but for its chipset it seems to work well on the whole again it works very good i i recommend it it does everything well, it's supposed to cons really is only real negative is it doesn't have any inline uh, like physical buttons it's that's it and i'm not really keen on how it glows up blue but for sheer performance it seems to do a actual good job hard really hard to fault it and yeah anything you want to know as usual just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching take care